Hello, this is Bob from Native Instruments. In this video, we will show you how to route an external audio signal as live input in Tractor. The source of the audio signal may be, for instance, a vinyl record playing on a turntable, a CD playing on a hi-fi stereo system, or a microphone. To learn how to use a microphone in Tractor, please consult the corresponding video linked in the About section of this video. The use of an audio interface equipped with at least one stereo input channel is necessary in order to connect the external audio source with the tractor system. Please note that if you wish to connect a turntable as an external audio source in order to play back vinyl records, the input channel of the audio interface must be equipped with a phono level switch, as will be explained later in this tutorial. First, make sure to display the mixer section by choosing Mixer from the layout selector. Then open up Tractor's Preferences and go to Deck's Layout. In the Deck Layout section, enable the option Show C and D to visualize Deck's C and D. Now you can set up either Deck C or D to receive the external signal. Here we choose Deck D. Click on the Deck letter and choose Live Input. The deck now appears grayed out to indicate that it is set to receive an external Live Input. First, make sure that your audio interface is connected and recognized by your system. Next, open the Tractor Preferences and go to Audio Setup. Make sure that your audio interface is selected under Audio Device. In our example, we are using the Tractor Audio 6 interface. Switch to Input Routing and select the correct stereo input channel for the deck that you have set as Live Input Deck. Following our example, we set Channel B Left and Channel B Right for Input Deck D. This means that we will connect the physical output of the external audio source to Channel B of the Tractor Audio 6. Its audio signal will then be played back via Deck D, the live input deck of the Tractor software. Note that the Tractor Audio 6 interface is equipped with an additional main input channel on the front of the unit. However, this channel does not support the use of a turntable. Connect the cable from the output of your external audio source to the input you just routed in input routing. Most commonly, this is a cable with stereo RCA connectors. Drawing from our previous example, we connect the cable to the input channel B of the Tractor Audio 6 sound card. Most current devices connect to the audio interface at a specific signal level called line. A special case is made when connecting a turntable, which requires a phono level. The line level is the default level in virtually all audio components, which means that in most cases, you simply need to connect your device to the audio interface. To finish the physical connection, make sure the input of your audio interface is set to line sensitivity if you connected a device such as a CD player or a drum machine. If you connected a turntable, you need to set the sensitivity of the input to phono. Our Tractor audio interface channels are equipped with built-in phono switches. To learn how to switch between line and phono levels with a dedicated Tractor interface, please consult the corresponding article linked in the About section of this video. In our Tractor Audio 6 example, you can change the input sensitivity from within the Tractor software. To do this, go to Preferences, Audio Setup, and press Settings in the Phono Line section. Choose your desired input sensitivity from the Control Panel window. Here we leave the sensitivity of Channel B to Line, as our external signal is coming from a CD player. Now Tractor is set up to receive the external audio signal via the Live Input Deck. Play back your external audio source and use the Tractor Mixer and Effects sections to alter and mix the original audio signal.